Recording is complete. No one. Oh, that's where you probably need to put the um, put the um, But it's not telling you next or anything. Yeah, or anything. It's not going to be for the past. 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 Everything you do, you are the you have you have the final I final it I want a three boy. Down at the left hand corner. Left corner. You don't see the number there. So we see the number there. Mm -hmm. Where say question mark, like a question mark, one, two, three. Yep. On the left hand side, on this keyboard. Hey there. Hey there. What's up, lady? Hey, nothing. Hey, nothing. Yeah, oh, I'm going to be glad in it. I'm going to be glad in it. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Don't start That's here. Your free. Don't start here. That's your free. Uh, Y'all come, come on in. Y'all come on in, I say. Yeah, come on in. Ah. Yeah, come on in. Come on in, I say. Come on in. All right, what I'm sharing. Mm. Mm -hmm. Oh, mm. that's about mm -mm. what's uh, hey, the truth. What's the we were? Hey, I know her. <laughs> I, I know Give her. Give me a lot. Give me a lot. Okay. Okay. No, 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 Y'all started already? Y'all started already? No, we just getting here.
Nah, yeah, we're just coming in. Everybody, I don't know who this is. This Celero 5G. I don't know who that is. We're gonna ask them to show their camera in a little while. Oh, okay. Can you open this up and crap? Can you open this up and crap? Who? Mr. Cooper. Mr. Cooper. Oh. Dear Heavenly Father, we just want to say thank you, Lord. Oh, God, thank you for great and mighty things you have done in each of our lives. You showed yourself so mighty, Lord. And, Lord, we bless you. We honor you. We glorify you and we magnify you on tonight. God, we thank you for the good, the bad, the indifferent, Lord God. Some of us are tired. Some of yes. us are hurting, oh God, yes. and I ask mm -hmm. that you would be the bomb in Gilead, Lord God, yes. that you would come in on tonight, yes. Father God, and just have your way in yes. and through each and every yes. one of us, yes. oh God. Lord, we <laughs> surrender ourselves to you. We say, have your way on tonight. We oh, thank God. you for oh, the leader, Father God, the teacher of the, of the Bible study on tonight. Lord, help us to glean from one another. Help us yes. to share, Father yes. God, uh, because iron sharpens iron, God. And even though we're not in the building together, but God, we're still not forsaking the assembly. And Father yes. God, we ask that you yes. open up our understanding, grant us wisdom, knowledge, and, a, and, and clarity on everything that we're going to speak on on tonight. And Father God, those who are not here just yet and may be on their way to logging on, Father, just be with everyone. You know why. You know everything that's going on. Meet them at their point of need. In Jesus' name, amen. Amen. Hey. Hey. Okay, we are we we gonna yeah, we are, we we uh, gonna uh, Sunday, uh, Sunday, Sunday, Sunday. where we left off at where we left off at talking about prayer with, with passion talking about prayer with passion. It keep repeating. It keep repeating. When you speak, mm -hmm. when you speak, mute yourself. Everybody, mute yourself. Okay, we're gonna but, pray. But Veronica, you don't mute. Pray. It's still saying the same thing. It's still saying the same thing. Veronica, you don't need to mute yourself, but we everybody else got to mute themselves. Okay. It still sound the same. Oh, okay. We're um, finishing off what we um did Sunday in uh, Sunday school. Um, it's talking about praying with passion, and in the beginning we was. Um, it had the question about when have you felt clueless about how to fix something and we went over that a little bit in um, Sunday school and then in the last bottom portion of the in the um, Bible Met Life and it said we have access to resources far more powerful than the internet through prayer yet many times we don't pray with passion when confronted with these problems we instead choose to trust in our own wisdom and ability to reason or manipulate, manipulate. Uh, you know how I get tired on it. You already know now. If I don't pronounce the words right, manipulate, manipulate, man, well, whatever that word is. I'll wait through I whatever. Much... Huh? Man what? Maneuver. Maneuver. Okay. Maneuver. Over our way through whatever faces us. But as we will see from the experience of Daniel, prayer is the only avenue by which we can access divine resources. Prayer actually does make a difference. And then I went on and then I went on and read um Ephesians um chapter six, verses 18. That was something that the Lord gave me to tie in with the with the prayer, with the lesson that we're going through today. And and over here, and we did do um we did do one scripture first, which was Daniel chapter two verses 13, 13 through sixteen. Um, Susan Cooper, can you um read for me, please? Daniel chapter two, thirteen through sixteen. So the decree was issued to put the wise men to death. And the men were sent to look for Daniel and his friends to put them to death. When Arioch, the commander of the king's guard, had gone out to put to death the wise men of Babylon, Daniel spoke to him with wisdom intact. 
he asked the king's officers, why did the king issue such a harsh decree? Um, Arioch then explained the matter to Daniel. At, that, at this, Daniel went to the king and asked for time so that he might interpret the dream for him. And then we had went over some of that and then to the bottom where it was talking about um, where Nebuchadnezzar had a dream that greatly disturbed him. Sister Lattimore, we can't hear you. I hear loud and clear. I I'm loud, brother. I'm I'm loud. Loud and clear <laughs> and very clear. I hear you too. Oh well, bless Jesus. Brother Cooper and Sister Cooper, you still can't hear me? Brother Cooper. It got to be on their side. It's something, I yeah. I was just finna say that it's something on their side. Yeah. Because I can hear them real clear. You can hear me now? We hear you now. Yes. Oh, okay. Okay. And it what I was saying to when I read that, and it was saying that he went to different sources instead of going to the main source. And then that is how we are sometimes when we go into prayer, when we pray about something, instead of praying about it, we go to other people instead of going to the one that could actually really solve the problem, the issue, the solution, whatever it is that we're facing, that we are going through. But sometimes we turn to other people. Sometimes we turn to other things instead of going to the one that can really solve the problem to really can have the communication to do whatever we request to do in prayer, as long as it's according to his will, his plan, and his purpose for us. Okay? So, and then we finish down here on the other side. It was talking about Daniel just played text, pause, with. I had a question. Yes, go ahead, um, Sister Carmen. What what came to mind too? Sometimes we we do consult God, but our problem is we don't know how to wait, mm -hmm. because we go before God and we petition His throne, and sometimes God get quiet, mm -hmm. and we take that quietness like, oh well, I guess He's saying it's okay for me to do what I want to do. No, sometimes we just have to sit and be still, and understanding His quietness, He's still gonna be God in the midst of whatever we're going through. You know? Yeah, yeah. Anybody else? Okay. Yes. Just, um, okay. Can y'all hear me? Yes. Okay. I don't have a question. It's kind of like a piggyback on what um, my mom was talking about. We were talking about somebody um, last night that it's not that God sometimes isn't answering you. It's just the answer that he's giving you is not what you want to hear. Mm -hmm. So you continue to pray and pray and pray. But God, you said, okay, well, I answered you. I did say, but mm -hmm. this ain't yeah. it. But because, again, it's not what we want to hear. We continue pestering him about the same issue. Yeah. Have a good one, Mr. Riggins. Yes, yeah. Mom. Okay. <laughs> All right. And this and the other last part on this one is say often circumstances bombard us with clear challenging stressful field and scared and, and scarred life alert situation we don't seek our, our desire. We can find ourselves in a similar impossible situation. Daniel actually can serve as a, a as a part as a pattern for us. He demands wisdom in waiting. Like Susan Cumber was saying. When we pray, we don't we don't want to we don't want to wait for the answer for God to answer. We want the microwave. We want it quick. If we pray today, we respect for the here to um to God for God to answer us today. And sometimes whatever it is that we pray for, and if it's not according to His will, or if it's not lining up to what He will have for us, we tend to get anxious and and not wait for God. We sometimes get ahead of God and try to stop it and do it on our own. And then it tends to be messed up because mm -hmm. we didn't choose to wait. I'm going to use, I'm going to use um, marriage for single people. Yes. You pray and ask God to give you a husband, but sometimes God don't give you the husband because you ain't ready. You don't know how to cook. You don't know how to keep the house clean. It's more than just, <laughs> it's, it's, it's no little people on this thing. It's more than laying on your back. You understand? Yeah. And that's yeah. where, 
where they, they, they get it twisted. You have to be in a position where when you, when God allows you to connect with someone, you have to know how to sharpen each other. As, as was said, we got to know when I'm down in the dumps, you got to know how to come and, and build me. How are you going to know how to build me if you first yeah. don't even know how to encourage your own self? Yeah. You understand? And, yes. and we have to get, because I said, Lord, I know why you ain't, you know, <laughs> because, <laughs> because sometimes I can get a little frowsy with my mouth, you know, and sometimes I don't want to do what you think yeah. I should do. You understand? Yeah. So, yeah. And I, if, if if the single people are honest, they'll say the same thing. So you don't want to be bothered. And you have to be like that, what I just said. Sometimes it's just, I look at pastor. God bless her heart. Mm -hmm. You know where the stove is. You know where the pots and pans. and the, mm -hmm. You know where they're at. But as she said, she created that. Yeah. You understand? Yeah. I don't have a problem serving who I love. But don't take it and be lazy with it. That's just yeah. me. Everybody has to do what they want to do. But that's the main thing with single people. We so want a husband fast. Lord, you know, I have, I want somebody. I don't want to be ahead no more. And then, okay, you don't want to wait until God process. Because mm -hmm. it's not only you. God could be fixing that one over there too. But yeah. you're so in a hurry that the, the ship that passed by with a speedy boat, you're going to jump <laughs> in that ship and, and get yourself in trouble. And the next thing you know, you're saying deuces to the trouble. <laughs> you know, because as my daughter always says, she said, mommy, I took my vow seriously. Yeah. And I thought about that. I said, you know what? She's right. It's not that I didn't take my vow seriously, but I was already that person that didn't, I don't tolerate foolishness. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. So the grace that should have been in my mouth mm -hmm. did, was not there because spiritually I was not connected the right way to God. Yeah. So how I'm going to be connected the right way to a man if I'm not doing what God said to do? You know, this, this, this getting together thing is a whole long, you're going to make up your mind that regardless of what you see, regardless of what pastor say, you know, pastor mm -hmm. say, mm -hmm. and you just have to ask God to help. Yeah. And, and you can't just say, okay, well, 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 you tripped me. So I'm going to divorce you. Man. No, you can't do that. <laughs> and you, the, the Siobhan quote that you say, mommy, the, the vows say for better or worse. Yeah. It's not better all the time. And sometimes you just, you, you want to kick them in the head. Mm -hmm. You understand? Mm -hmm. But you have to have the grace for that person. Because one day, they're going to want to kick you in your head. And they're yeah. going to have the grace for you. It's, it's a balance, you know? And that's the only thing that, that stuck out to me. Because we always in a hurry as single. Been there, done that. We always in a hurry as single women to attach ourselves to people that's not ready. Not yeah. ready with God. And yet not ready to, to know how to handle uh, alpha woman, as people yeah. call it. You understand? We have yes. to come together and we have to know how to encourage each other and everything. If I'm going to be disgusting, it's the way you come to me and say, baby, uh, I don't think, you know, you should have done it like that. Not, what do mm -hmm. you think you're doing? You ain't supposed to be doing, you know, that kind of attitude. Yeah. Yeah. You know, we, all of that is a learning process, you know, for us to, to have what God says are already ours. Amen, sister. Amen. Amen. Anybody else? Okay. And I so agree with you, sister, comment on that. You know, we have to learn to wait, even in, in, in whatever situation that we find ourselves in. You know, I don't, like we said Sunday, you know, how often do we have to keep praying about the same thing, the same thing, the same thing? And like Pastor was telling us, you know, you prayed about it and that's that. Now it's time to give God thanks for it. You know, thanking him for it. Thanking that it's already been done. Thank you that it's already did. And even with that, even in my my single life when uh you know uh like i said i desire to be married and i used to have hissy fits when i first did got married i mean first when i first got saved because i always see i see so many people getting married and i'm like well god when is my time dog everybody else getting married and i'm still over here and what i'm doing what i ain't doing you know what's in me what what you got to do in me but i stopped that you know i stopped that and it is like lord if it's your will you know, I want whatever it is to be your will. You know what I'm saying? And and, and they say, whatever state you find yourself in to be content. And that I am. I am content. If he give me a husband, I'm fine. If he don't, I'm still fine. I want to do what please him. You know? Okay, so now we're going to Daniel chapter 2, 
verses 17 through 19. Sister Cooper, can you read that for me, please? Then Daniel returned to his house and exp explained the matter to his friends, Hananiah, Mishael, and Azariah. Uh, he urged them to plead for mercy from God, the God of heaven, concerning this mystery, so that he and his friends might not be executed with the rest of the wise men of Babylon. During the night, the mystery was revealed to Daniel in a vision. Then Daniel praised God, I'm sorry, praised the God of heaven. Okay, so Cooper, go ahead and finish reading the, um, the passage down there, the, the, okay. the rest of it down there to the bottom. Okay, Daniel wasn't a ma magician, medium, or sorcerer, or one of the wise men of Babylon. The thought of consulting a dream book would have never entered his mind. He was, however, a man of God, so he knew where to go for help. What did Daniel do? First, Daniel asked his three friends to pray with him and ask God to show mercy and reveal the mystery of the king's dream. I'm going to stop word, you there. Yeah. I know sometimes when we have dreams like that and, and, and God gives interpretation to different people and that way, like you said, when he prayed and he got interpretation, so he wanted his friends to pray. So that's like the same with us. You know, we have dreams and then we could go to somebody and say, well, so it's cool. I had this dream and, and then I started telling you about the dream and whatever. Then God will give you the revelation of what that is that I was dreaming about. I may not understand what it was, but he give the revelation to you. You know, Amen. he give revelation to different people. You know what I'm saying? So in that, in the sense of that, he asked his three his three friends to pray, and to that God would reveal the you know the interpretation, the revelation of what the dream that the king had. So I thought that was very interesting. When we have dreams and we don't understand, and God laid on your heart to go to somebody, He already gave that person that interpretation of the dream, or give you yeah. gave them the understanding of the dream, so mm -hmm. that you know when you come to them, they they have the answer for you. You know, go Amen. ahead. And uh, the word translated mystery refers simply to something that's unknown. It can also refer to something beyond mortal comprehension. Daniel wasn't seeking anything beyond human ability to understand. He simply wanted to know the content and meaning of Nebuchadnezzar's dream. Mm -hmm. When speaking to his Hebrew friends, Daniel referred to the Lord as the God of heaven. This title for God occurs primarily in biblical books written after Babylonian exile. The relocated Hebrews had lived among peoples who worshiped gods that honored the sun, moon, and stars. So this title stood in contrast to those erroneous beliefs uh, and highlighted the Yahweh alone is God of, the, of heaven and earth. Mm -hmm. Scr scripture does not say how Daniel's three friends responded when they heard about the king's unreasonable request and his subsequent threat. No doubt, though Daniel's instructions conveyed the seriousness of the situation, he urged his friends to plead with God, so the four pleaded with God. Now, and that's just like sometimes when we stand in 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 in, in agreement in with gap. something with some in the gap for somebody, you know, and they come to you and say, "Well, Sister Coop, I want you to stand in the gap with me. I'm praying for mm -hmm. this certain, certain thing. I'm praying for this. Can you stand in the gap with me?" He said, "Well, two or three are gathered there. He'll be in the midst of it." Amen. So, and and I believe that's why Daniel went to his three friends, you know, to mm -hmm. stand in the gap with him. To to Amen. so that God will be able to interpret uh give him revelation of the dream that it never can listen, never whatever that man name is. Yeah, he <laughs> had, you know. yeah. <laughs> yes, <in the> <laughs> um what what came to mind and I know um God he gonna remember. I remember when Siobhan was trying to find a place in her journey as becoming an adult. Mm -hmm. and, and yeah, remember Coop. We have to come together as a group <laughs> and war. It's a difference in just, Lord, I thank you. 
but everything is yes. going to be fine. No, yes. we yes. have to walk for my child. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. The truth, you know, we had to warfare, and we didn't just do it today, and then we just skip over. We constantly met on the phone, and we prayed, and we prayed. We came to the house, we prayed, we prayed, mm -hmm. and look at God. Amen. We can't give up, like mm -hmm. like like Pastor said. We cannot give up when we are praying, whether it's for friends, family, mm -hmm. husband. We can't give up. Amen. Yes, the situation yeah. looks jacked up, and sometimes you'd be like. Man, they ain't even listening. What am I wasting my time praying for? Yeah, yeah. You understand? Just be honest. Yeah. You know? And so the Holy Spirit will have to tell you, well, somebody has wasted their time for you. Mm -hmm. So you, you got to pray too. It's yeah. not about what you see. Are you trusting the God that I am that I'm going to fix that? That's right. Yeah. And that's it right there. So it, it, the, the like how we were saying la um, last week, you don't just pray today and then we say, okay, God, yes, you're going to pray. And then you start, and I don't mean, well, thank you, Lord. Radically thanking God because mm -hmm. you believe that That's it right. is so. Done. You yeah. understand? It's a difference yeah. when you pat a cake in prayer and when you're radically praying, you don't care who is around. You're ripping the you enemy to shreds because you yeah. know what you want to have done. That's and that's right. how it's supposed to be. <laughs> Go in for your city, baby. Yes. Yeah, because <laughs> yeah. yeah, the, the, the question um uh question three was asked and say what are the benefits of praying with others and and my my answer was that you know like what you said uh um a lot of more by being on one accord because mm -hmm. you know they say what well, they said that more more prayer more power and if you get yeah. uh, a bunch of us on this on one accord praying for the mm -hmm. same thing god hears us he mm -hmm. hears us anyway but you know, and then you, and then yes. you feel, you feel, yeah. yeah, you feel more encouraged too, knowing that yeah. you're not praying this prayer by yourself, by and yourself. you got other people. Yeah. Yes, praying. that's it. You know, because sometimes when, when I feel like that, even when we do in the morning, when we do our devotions, and then we both pray the the, the in the beginning and at the end. Mm -hmm. So like whatever I left out, she remember, and whatever she yeah. left out, I remember. So yes. when you praying, you know, when you praying together, you know, you you don't miss nothing. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Yeah. yeah, that's so amazing because when they say we are, what are the benefits of praying with others and us as 3D ministry, that's what our foundation is, is prayer. You know, and that's what, that's why everybody come, you know, can you pray? You know, this person need prayer and this person need prayer, this person, and then we see God move. We see him move mightily. Like Pastor yeah. always said, we see people be healed in different countries and different places. Mm -hmm. you know, just because of our one is our connection with each other in prayer. And that's the foundation of our, our church is prayer. You know, mm -hmm. that's what, that's the glue that hold us together is mm -hmm. prayer. And I thank God for that. You know what's thank the beautiful God. thing about it? Ooh. As you just stated, it don't matter where. They don't really have to be a part of our church. Ooh. Yeah. Because we, even though we are just 3D ministry, Every believer that's truly serving God in the world, we are one because we're mm -hmm. serving the, the same God. Yeah. So yeah. many times you guys have prayed for my sister that had the open heart surgery and pacemaker uh -huh. and it's maker. And now uh, look at the young lady. Yeah. You know, yeah. that's God. Yeah. They ain't got yeah. nothing to do with denomination. Mm -hmm. It's God. We petition. Mm -hmm. He said petition. He said you have to be specific with what you want me to do and then just leave the rest to me. Trust me. Mm -hmm. But sometimes we want to pray. Then we want to fix it. And we want to tell God how yep. to fix it. And then it just delay the process. Yes. And I'm talking from experience, y'all. I've yep. been there. <laughs> but <laughs> we just have to know if we truly understand who we are serving, we yes. shouldn't have to question God. Yeah. If God said it, Okay, God, I don't see it happening, you know, and I know you don't forget, but give me the strength to re really, mm -hmm. oh, okay, God, I trust you. I trust you. That's Keep it. saying it in my abstract. I trust you. I thank you. I trust you. And just leave it there. No mm -hmm. matter what, we leave it there. That's yeah, true. It, re That's it remind me of, um, I was just doing, I just made this clip of, with the, the, the youth ministers, right? And then the, one of the parts that I took out was what Siobhan did. She was like, by faith and not by sight. By faith and not by sight. Ooh. You have to believe it. Once you yeah. pray it and you say it, you I mean, once you know you done gave it to God, you have to believe Ooh. that thing. That's it. No, why did yeah. you go to him if you didn't believe he could do it? The first yes. place. Why did you go down your why did you go down on your knees and ask God for anything if you didn't really believe that he could do Ooh. it? Ooh. By faith and not by sight. That's what she said. 
Yes, sir. Mm -hmm. Amen. Mm -hmm. Amen. Go ahead, Sister Cooper. Sister Cooper. Um, okay, so we answered the questions about what the benefits of praying with others are. We know Ooh. that there's strength in numbers. So now Daniel himself prayed. So not only did he ask his friends to pray, but he prayed as well. Yeah. Having others pray for us is helpful. Praying for ourselves is essential. The New yeah. Testament teaches that the fervent prayer of a righteous believer accomplishes mm -hmm. much. That's mm -hmm. in James 5, 16. Yeah. Amen. Certainly, if anyone ever prayed fervently, it was Daniel. Yes. As he did his three friends, as did his three friends, their lives, their very lives were at stake. Although Ooh. we aren't told the content of the four Hebrews prayers, we can be confident they prayed for one another and themselves. Doing both is important. Ooh. We shouldn't feel selfish when, when praying for our own concerns. That's true. The writer of the book of Hebrews stated, let us then approach God's throne of grace with confidence so that we may receive mercy and find grace to help us in our time of need. Each of the four captives wanted to receive mercy and find grace in this moment of crisis. Number three, Daniel expected God to answer. Yes. Daniel. But that's mm. so important when you say God, Daniel expected God to answer. And that's how we should be when we go to God in prayer. We Amen. should expect God to answer. We should already know that he already done answered. But he wants us to say it out of our own mouth. You know what I'm saying? He already know what we're going through. He already know what we're facing. He already know what we're standing in need of. But he, won't, he, won't, he wanted to hear it from us. He wanted to hear it. He wanted to hear it from my own lips. Mm -hmm. You know? He said, it, what I, when I told her, I said, you can't be here if what you would not reveal. So you have to speak that. You have to speak whatever it is. And and the only way that's going to happen is that when you do do that, then that's the way God is. Uh, you gotta have, like I said, you got to have confidence and faith to believe that God hears you and that he's going to answer you, you know, regardless of what it is. You know, Sister Common? Um, this is a girl. You, I can't. I went back in in my mind to Sunday what um, Pastor's granddaughter said. She said sometimes she just let people pray. You yeah. understand? And sometimes yeah. we get like that. We Ooh. figure. Um, and I had people say that. I know you're gonna pray. So you know I don't need to pray. Oh yes, you do. Yeah, you still. You do, know. Yeah. You as you just say, stated, you gotta mm -hmm. open your. Oh my! Yeah. In salvation, the word of God says you have to confess. Mm -hmm. You have to audibly invite Jesus into your life. He don't just come like that. And it's the same way. Whatever we stand in need of, we have to stand fast in that. Okay, God, I understand what you say. Like when I always have to reflect, because that was my biggest trauma, reflect with my home. When I lost my job and everything was just going haywire because it was just yeah. me and Siobhan. And I was like, when I saw that Marshall with that badge hanging around his neck, knocking at my door, and I want to know, excuse me, um, yes. <laughs> and when he finished talking to me, I sat down to my computer and I bawled. I didn't cry. I bawled. Yeah. You hear me? Yeah. And yeah. I had to catch myself. And then that's why I said we need to learn to let the enemy know you don't have rule over this. I belong to God. And whatever happened, just like how Job, he knew that God was going to have him where he need him to be in his arms yes. no matter what Job yeah. went through well um, no matter what he lost God never gave up on him and said well that's what you get no he did not yeah. even though his friends were, were was discussing but still he took a stand regardless of how he felt in his body with boils and whatever he still took that stand and that's an example for us to follow no matter what we see I saw the demise of my home I yeah. was already moving out before the mover came in my head. <laughs> you understand? And that's yeah. what the other part of the lesson was saying. We have to surround ourselves with people that we could. Act. Look, you got to yeah. pray. Help me pray. Okay. Yes. Right now I'm in a rut. Yeah. I, I know I'm supposed to pray, but I just don't know how. Yeah. Is that, 
you know how, but when you get in a spot in your life, it's like everything fly out the window. For me, I'm talking from mm-hmm. personal experience. Mm-hmm. And mm-hmm. when I called pastor and she said, you bring them papers to church on Sunday. Because it happened yeah. over the weekend. You bring it to church on Sunday. We going to pray, Sister Carmen. Yeah. That's why I, I, I tell people, I don't have everybody praying for me. I don't. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I know who to say, um, I need you to pray. And it's not that I don't think that you can't pray. But sometimes you need to let the Holy Spirit show you. Let someone go pray. Or just yeah. let pastor pray. Yeah. When pastor said, bring the, 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 the documents. I didn't say, well, why do I have to bring the documents? Ain't nobody there to go through the documents and see what to do. <laughs> I didn't question that. Because we do. I brought yeah. them documents. And she laid them at the altar. And told me, you want to walk. And you stomp on that. And pour oil. And that was it. You see, I'm in my house, mm-hmm. right? Mm-hmm. We have to have the same confidence we had when we were out there in the world and doing whatever we wanted to do and thought nothing of it. Now we, now we become, I think Cooper said this one time. Now we become Christian and we chicken. We scared. <laughs> we scared. Oh my God, what am I do? No. Now we should be more bolder because <laughs> of God. What God yeah. has given on the inside. We only change partners. That's but God it. created us just how he wanted us to be. Mm-hmm. It's just that we need a little fine talk. Carmen need a little fine tuning. Mm-hmm. But this is how God made me you know and we have to understand that and accept that and i thank god i don't know why i'm smelling like it's smoke or something in here sorry but we just have to to accept that because yeah. god is an untimed god he's yes. a faithful god is nothing that we have to to worry about as long as we put our hope and trust and confidence yeah. in him yes amen so to cooper all right, I, I wanted to say something too, because it uh, just piggybacking a little bit. Um, because when you, when you say it said in the first and number two, it said having others pray for us is helpful, but praying mm-hmm. for ourselves is essential. Yes. You have to pray. You got to pray for you. You know mm-hmm. what I'm saying? Before you, mm-hmm. be, I, and that's just the way I feel. I don't know. I may be wrong, but before I can even go to somebody else, I need to go to God first. first. That's right. You know what I'm yes. saying? And then when I feel yes. like, okay, I'm still not feeling really strong enough, then I'm gonna go ask somebody. Yeah. But we so quick to just go somebody else quick. We yes. got a relationship with God too. You know what I'm saying? And that's really, that's really what he desires is that relationship with, with you personally. Mm-hmm. So we mm-hmm. need to start, we need to start standing on that thing. You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah. I don't need to go out. I, I, it's good. I can go to somebody, yeah. which is, it's cool. Yeah. But I, it's, it's essential for me, me to be to able get, to go to him yeah. myself. That's you know right. what I'm saying? But we so yeah. quick, soon as something happened, the first thing, oh, I need to call right. somebody. Yeah. Why? Why do you that same way? Because sometimes we feel like when it's going, when it's happening, we don't. I, I don't know. I don't know how to pray. I don't know what to say. But the same yeah. thing you calling somebody to say, say that. Say it to him. Yeah. Say that to him, and he gonna <laughs> hear you. He gonna <laughs> hear you, Lord. I don't understand this foolishness right here. And I, I know. you know what I'm saying. And you be real, because that's the only way I could be able to help you is if you be real yeah. with me. So the same yeah. thing with God. Be real. Tell him straight up, listen, man. Right. This and this and this and this or whatever. Because I don't personally, like me and my wife was talking today, and, and I was tell, I was picking at her and Siobhan how when they at work, they got this other language. They, they talk. <laughs> you know, and I'm like, I don't know how to do that. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Whatever yeah. I'm at, I talk just like this right here. You know what I'm saying? If I'm on the pulpit, if I'm at work, <laughs> if I'm at work, wherever. Yeah. And, uh, and it's not being, they're going to say, oh, he ghetto. That's why. No, nah, it ain't that. I'm no. I'm Gerald. But God yeah. knows who I am. So yeah. Yeah. when I talk to him, he know my voice because this how yeah. I talk. You know what I'm yeah. saying? I don't go to singing the words, hey, this is a Skorsky. And I don't do that. I don't know how to do that. Yeah, go ahead. <laughs> That's funny. Coop, you telling the truth. Because sometimes I call there and I get, good afternoon, this is Siobhan. I say, girl, take the white girl voice off. It's mommy. <laughs> you know, but I understand the professionalism. That's what they have yeah. to do. Yeah. You understand? But we, as Cooper say, I'm going to piggyback on you too. You're right. We don't have to be who we're mm-hmm. not. Lord, I can't. It's not that I don't want to. I can't. And what came to mind when 
when Cooper was talking, sometimes when people will have you pray, it's because they feel inferior because they might have done something out of their realm of being a Christian. Mm -hmm. They might have just cursed somebody out or they might have just had a little, mm -hmm, and Ooh. they figure that God is not going to hear them. Ooh. So they say, well, let me go to Mr. Lattimore. That's when huh? he wants you to come. That's how he wants you to come. That's yes, exactly but they don't think they like that. Yeah, that, but that's what I'm saying. That's what it's saying. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah, we, I want you just like that because now I can yeah. work with you now. Yes, yes, yeah. The other thing I'm on the other side of the spectrum is that we run into go to people to pray. Who's to say that that person has your best interest at heart? Who's that's to it. say that that person, they could be jealous that's of you and you don't know. And you come in to tell them all your business and who oh, pray for me, pray, be in agreement with me. And they, they're like, huh, you and you talking about I want a husband. And they saying, uh, chaplain, it's not before me. <laughs> or you praying for a house or whatever, or a deliverance yeah. or whatever. And them people ain't checking. Or, or that you pray and pray for your husband, you and your marriage. Yeah. Like, and they like, mm -hmm, I, I want so that husband. <laughs> I want that wife. You never know. Mm -hmm. So even That's in that, true. just like the words say, it is essential, you know, that we pray for ourselves. And I'm in agreement 1000% that yes. we got to go to God. You Me understand too. what I'm saying to you? Yes. We have yes. to go. We have to go. There's no yes. reason why we should be so afraid. And even when we mess up, you understand? Ooh, yeah. He's going to do it. He what did he say? He I formed you in your mother's womb before. Mm -hmm. She didn't even know you was up in there, but I, God knew. You yeah. understand what I'm saying to you? Yeah. And then when he decided to say, oh, guess what? You're pregnant, Nate. Oh, what? oh, Jesus. You know what I mean? And then, uh, oh, and then now, okay, here go one pregnant. Not again. Yes, you pregnant again. Oh, Lord, yes, he knows that. So, yes, yeah. I'm in agreement. Yes, yes, run to Jesus. Even, uh -huh. even, even when you're wrong, even when you don't know what to do or how to pray, tell him that. Mm -hmm. And sometimes mm -hmm. I be telling you, I just yeah. want to holler. Mm -hmm. And guess what? God know what that holler mean. Just mm -hmm. scream. Mm -hmm. You know? Yeah. Oh Lord, yeah. help me. Whatever, however, yeah. but get it through. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Amen. 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 But you know, to pick it back on what you said, and that is so true that we shouldn't need to pray for us. I mean, you won't need to run to everybody. If God didn't tell you to go to that person, don't need to run because everybody don't have your best interest at heart. You know, they want to see your downfall. You know, they want to see your mishap. They want to see you going through things, you know, and you run into them and say, oh, child, can you pray with me? Can you, you know, be in agreement with me? And we don't even know how that person's life is. We don't know how they live it. We don't, we don't know that. But we're so quick to run to them, you know. And then, like you said, so the group, it's best that we go to God on ourselves for ourselves. It's nothing wrong of us talking to God for ourselves. He want to hear us for himself anyway because we're his child and we belong to him. Just like we run to our parents when something happened and whatever. He's our daddy. So why should we run to our daddy? You know what I'm saying? And and, and I feel like that's so much special when I'm going when I'm dealing with this place and what everything. And and I and I have to run to my daddy. I, I don't have nobody else to run to. Because I know he's the only one that has the answer. And, you know, and it, even in the midst of that, and when you're praying or whatever, and then he tell you, wait. Oh, that that's the problem right there, the waiting. You know, sometimes we get so messed up in the waiting. We don't want to wait. And when we go out there and jump ahead of him, instead of waiting like he said wait and jump ahead of him, we mess things up. I mess things up. And then I have to come right back around that full circle, right back around and go right back to my daddy. Well, I should have went from the beginning when he told me to wait. I, I saw. I, I was watching um uh, this thing about Panthers, something on TV today, mm -hmm. and the man said that his daddy told him when he was young that he would you're always in a hurry and a rush to get to something that you ain't even gonna never make it to, but you pass by all the stuff that he had for you. So mm -hmm. we be so in a rush and trying to move so fast to get somewhere that we may not even make it to, mm -hmm. but if we pass by what God, all the things that God got in all mind for us, rushing yeah. past trying to get to what he put in. But he knows exactly what he has set for us. Like, okay, he know around the corner, if he give us this right here, okay, let's say oh, I get a Lamborghini. He yeah. know me and my lead foot, I'm going to go around this corner and I'm going to crash. And then now I die, you know, but we cancel anything out of the atmosphere. Yeah. But this is just an example, you know what I'm saying to you? It's just an example, you know, of what God knows. He already knows yeah. who we are. Yeah. He knows, okay, if I go ahead and do this for 
Nadia right now? Oh, no. She might not yeah. come back to church. She might not serve. She might feel yeah. like she doing it. God knows us. No, you you understand? understand? And then wait. No. Ain't nothing wrong with it because you're learning not, in the waiting. Yeah. It's really yeah. not nothing waiting, honey. Mm -hmm. All right, so we'll go ahead, finish. Amen. Daniel had full confidence God could reveal mysteries, extend mercy, and protect the lives of Daniel, his Hebrew friends, and the rest of the Babylonians' wise men. That is exactly what God did. The Ooh. text doesn't say the revelation came while Daniel was asleep. Okay. Fear may have kept the four awake. Hey, the the prob they probably prayed continuously until the revelation came. Uh -huh, uh -huh. Uh, number four, Daniel praised God for the ans for answered prayer. Yeah, having, uh -huh. Amen. Having received the revelation about the king's dream, Daniel could have rushed to the royal residence, excited to share the content and the meaning of Nebuchadnezzar's dream. Instead, he paused. And worship God for answering his prayer. Amen. Too often, we can treat God like a vending machine. You know, I had yes, to highlight that. Amen. Amen. Put your yeah, money uh, in and get your, uh -huh, get your yeah, item out. Yeah, 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 All right. Yeah, yeah. That's what <laughs> I want right now. Yeah, uh, uh -huh. Okay. We can put in our request, and once it's fulfilled, we scurry off satisfied because we've gotten what we wanted. Amen. Reco Recall the response Jesus gave to the one leper, a Samaritan, who returned to thank him for healing. We're not, were not all 10 cleansed? Where, where are the other nine? <laughs> where are they? Let's remember to thank God for answered <laughs> prayer. prayer. Amen. And that is so essential. That is so true, Sister Cooper. You know, we need to thank God for answering our prayers when he does answer them. You know, reverence him, relate to him, and know that, you know, God, I thank you that you answer my <laughs> prayer. Because you can be praying for something for so long, and then God finally answer it. Why not give him thanks for answering mm -hmm. it? You know, mm -hmm. And that's mm -hmm. so, that is so important and that is so true. When God does answer our prayer, we need to give him thanks and let him know, Lord, I am truly grateful that you thought of me and that you answered my prayer, you know? Okay, go ahead, Sister Cooper. Sister Carmen, you want to say something? Go ahead, Sister Cooper. Okay. Um, I don't know how many of us did the little, um, the little yeah, activity. It says engage. When in doubt, Pray. Yeah. Some people pray only as a last resort. Huh? Others pray early about everything. And it, it told you to list five areas about which you regularly pray, then answer the question. So um, Gerald put my family, my church leaders slash members, my wife, marriage, clients at my job, keeping me and my mind stayed on God. Amen. I put I put families, um, biological church and work families, leaders, i.e. the church, the world, local community, mm -hmm. um, the sick, the shut-in, the bereaved, the backslider, the lost. I pray for the <laughs> blessings, spiritual, financial, physical, etc. Mm -hmm. And I pray for my husband in marriage as well. Um, okay. Then it says, how has answered okay, prayers... I wonder at Sister Cooper, in, in, in the one okay. that I, I wrote down, I put my walk with God, my church family, <laughs> my uh -huh. pastor, and you know, my, my apostle, my uh -huh. family, that the ones that don't know Christ, that they will come to know Christ. Amen. And for the uh -huh. sick and the shed in. I pray Amen. Uh -huh. daily uh -huh. for that. And also, I pray for my job, and I also pray for my president. Amen. Go yeah. ahead, Sister yeah. Carmen. Would my, you have to my, top, my top is my um... My, my grandkids' school. It, mm -hmm. It's so important because of all the foolishness I have. Yeah. I, their school, then I said, Lord, not only uh, moms, but 3D ministry children. Mm -hmm. Part of our family, too. Yeah. You know, and yeah. marriages, especially, and especially young people, because the enemy trying to wipe out generation. Yes. You understand? And yes. we have to keep our, our grandchildren and our children covered because without them, there's no future. Yeah, you understand, and and especially for headship, 
because a lot of um, leaders are falling by the wayside mm -hmm. because either they're tired or whatever the circumstances you know, come, they don't have the strength. And that's why it's important for the, the followers of the leader to pray for their strength. You yeah. can't be in a church full of people and anybody praying for you, but you praying for yourself. You need yeah. some kind of support and yeah. encouragement. And not only with the praying, but sometimes, you know, you go, you did a good job. Mm -hmm. you know, that, that word you brought was, was excellent. Mm -hmm. I needed that. You know, mm -hmm. it's not that they're looking for for you to come patting them on the back to, to glorify them. No, but sometimes it's nice to hear somebody say, you know it's, what? You did a good job. You did a good yeah. job. Yeah. yeah. Okay, go ahead, Sister Cooper. Sister Cooper? I say Sister Cooper. I say hello, hello. I had, I had, I had to get it off of unmute. I say amen. <laughs> um, it says, how has answered prayers been a blessing in your life? Hold on, I ain't get to do my list. Sorry. Okay, go go ahead. Somebody was talking to me. Hi. <laughs> go right ahead. <laughs> okay. Yes, ma'am. Okay, no, I said um, my walk, my family, both biological and spiritual, my finances, my career, and being in God's will. Amen. Amen, amen. amen. Um, I put, um, anybody else? Wanted to say their list. Okay. Um, it says, how has answered prayers been a blessing in your life? I said, the blessing is that situation has been, the situations or things have been resolved. It builds yes. my confidence to yes. know that God always answers. I learned persistence. I learned how to wait on God. Mm -hmm. I learned to be patient. I learned mm -hmm. how to stay before God. Mm -hmm. um, that's that's how it's you know and how answered yeah. prayers has helped me. Amen. Anybody else? Yeah. Well, for me, um, answer, and I didn't write it yet because uh, I was just doing it. Sorry about that. But um, <laughs> answer prayers for me uh, has been a blessing in my life because for one thing, I've, I've always I always pray for myself because I have yeah. to pray that I, I'm stay focused on God every day. I okay. got to do that every day. So mm -hmm. in that, in being focused, um, God is, it's a blessing because not only is my marriage uh, yeah. on the right track, but yeah. at, at work I'm being promoted like, and, and Amen. recognized more than ever, Amen. you know what I'm saying? And Amen. I know that I worked hard in the past, but yeah. now it's starting to be because I'm lined up with God and I keep my mm -hmm. mind on God that I, I'm starting to see the blessings of, of praying, mm -hmm. you know, me keeping my prayers uh, lined Amen. up like that. Mm -hmm. yes. Got it, Carmen. And I admire what you just said, Cooper, mm -hmm. because a lot of times we don't think like that. Mm -hmm. We don't understand that our obedience is essential for uh, our blessing. Yeah. God ain't blessing no foolishness. If God keeps telling you, stop mashing on that. Oh, okay, God ain't gonna mash. And then when he <laughs> thinks he ain't looking, you gonna mash. And then when everybody having their blessing, you get a stink because, well, okay. well, how come? How come and how come? And I have to go back to tithes and offering. Yeah. I have to go back to learning to give good gifts because the, the, the mm -hmm. words say that. You understand? Mm -hmm. Yes. We don't know. I, I, I told my daughter, I said, God is so funny. I said, your grandma came to Miami for 15 years because I didn't have Siobhan and no daycare. I just didn't flow like that. You know, and my mom will come up and she will take care of Siobhan for me while I go to work. And then when she was able, when she was ready to go to, to school, Ooh. that was it right there. And look, did I think I was going to stay mm -hmm. take care of my grandkids? You understand? Yeah. We yeah. have to be careful how we handle people, what we say to people, because karma mm -hmm. is real. Yes, it you is. You jack okay. up to someone, it can mm -hmm. come back. I don't care mm -hmm. if you ask God to forgive me two million times. Karma is karma. He said yeah. what you sow, you're going to reap. Oh, he didn't say true. because you gave your life to Christ, Carmen, that you're not going to reap back some of the stuff that you did in life the devil i yeah. reap it back and thank god i was able to take my punishment without losing my mind Amen. you understand and we yeah. have to be so careful because god's word is god's word and Amen. i tell people now in my latter years i'm understanding my purpose i'm understanding 
that whatever God said, like a parent, mm-hmm. if I say I'm going to bust your tail, I'm going to bust your tail. Mm-hmm. Ain't nothing going to change that. And yeah. once you have that that order in your mind to know, you know what, God, I'm going to do the best that I can. He ain't asking you to, to be what you're not. Do the best that you can. Yeah. My, sister, my sister has transformed. God has transformed her. Amen. That when I listen to her talk, I'll be like, dang, Jesus, thank you. <laughs> I said my praying all these years because sometimes <laughs> I wanted to kick her in the head because she was acting stupid, just like me. Sometimes I wanted somebody yeah. to kick me in my head. You understand? <laughs> but it's just the benefits <laughs> of seeing your prayer switch yeah. up with God when He fixes it. You be like, "Dude, mm. Jesus, yeah." You know, and God. when she speaks, you be like, "Oh my God, this is the same person, Jesus." Yeah, you understand. <laughs> And, and, and it's a blessing. You think pastor don't feel proud and apostle don't feel proud when he see, when they see their offspring, us, mm-hmm. transform from um truth to where we yeah. are today. Yeah, you understand? Yeah. It yeah. blows their mind to see that growth. You have a child and you notice they're already seven and they ain't walking. What the mess? What's wrong with you? Yeah. You have to, in, in, in every journey of your Christian experience, change have to come. You yeah. can't stay stagnated. You can't be still um drink as the border guy said. You can't be sucking in the bus. That's it. I ain't ready to grow up yet. Really? Hey, you got to know how to handle some meat. <clears throat> and sometimes when you ain't got the teeth, you can't bite the meat. <laughs> you can't bite the meat. When you don't have the encouragement, when you don't have what God has already placed, you don't let it mature mm-hmm. and develop, and then you get yourself in trouble. And I'm learning that in my yeah. latter years. You understand? Yeah. But the mm-hmm. key is as long as you learn, you understand your purpose in yeah. God. And no matter what mistakes you make in life, who really care? That's the true. enemy only plays back in your head what you entertain. Mm-hmm. He ain't got no hell in heaven to put you in. But he gonna do his job. Yeah. So why we can't? I always, I always tell my sister. I said, let me tell you something. The enemy don't like you. Mm-hmm. You got to get that in your head. Mm-hmm. You are not one of his favorite people. You have life in your mouth to be able to share with other women for the stuff that you went through. You think yeah. he wants you? Yeah. To, to survive that? Nah, baby. You gonna yeah. stand and yeah. you gonna run because you yeah. got a lot of people that you have to 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 win. And it's the same with 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 pastor. The enemy don't like none of us. That's and whatever right. we've been through in life, he tried to play that sucker back in our brain. Well, God ain't really seen you like that. And if you're not a, in, in a place where you really depending and trusting God, he could capture your mind mm-hmm. and then what happened? You back mm-hmm. out there sliding, doing the same foolishness because you believe the lie. Yeah. So now it's, yeah. and those of us, you know, who've been, been wrestling and trying fighting that enemy to step up every time God allowed the enemy and that's the part to be so beautiful for me he can't touch me unless God say so that's right so why why do I have to keep going over the same thought as my mother will say <laughs> or over the same thing when we already have the victory because number one he wanted a Calvary mm-hmm. so because we already have the victory now is a it's like I know how to bake a cake the cake ain't going to bake itself. So I got to know how much leaven to put in. I got to know how much eggs to put in. And just yeah. so with our salvation, when, when the trials and the testing come, you got to put that word in there. You got to put that fasting right. in there. You got to put that prayer in there in mm-hmm. order for God to allow us to grow. And sometimes, sometimes we don't feel like fighting. We don't feel like putting the extra. Lord, I'm tired. I'm tired. Yes, yes. You know, yes. I'm tired. Amen. But but in our tiredness, he said he's our strength. Yeah. So when I start getting tired, look, God, I can't do this. I talk to God the way I talk to God. I don't talk to God like everybody else. Me, my daddy. And, and if I talk to my daddy like that, I could talk to my daddy Jesus. Ooh. My daddy God. You understand? Mm-hmm. But we, we just have to. And that's why I keep saying, I said, Lord, you keep saying, we have to stop performing. We have to yeah. start to really allow God to show us, to show Carmen, Carmen. Yeah. yeah. Sometimes as my daughter be telling me, uh, yes, yeah, something I want to punch her too. But as my daughter be, <laughs> as my daughter be telling me, ah, 
it's the way you look at stuff. I, it, it's not like that. This is how, and this is how. And then in my in my head, I'm going, oh, she right. Uh, yeah, uh, yeah, I need to change that. You understand? Yeah. You have to be willing to change because I'm the adult, not saying she's not, but I'm the mama. And sometimes we get like that, that we think our children cannot say nothing to us. They can tell us, you know? they can tell us, they know. Or, or yeah. even little children, my grandkids, sometimes, especially this little one here that get them nerve touching me, my granddaughter, she's a very bold little girl, but I know where Ooh. she get that from. You know, she, she got it the right way sometimes you have to i look at her and i go i know that's not her oh jesus and i'd be like i'm sorry i have to apologize and she's only three mm -hmm. but because i have to and the holy spirit be like uh, 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 you got to okay i'm sorry i'm sorry she said she said that is okay i said no it's not okay you understand yeah. you yeah. should never be too um big that a child the bible said a child will lead you, you don't want to be unteachable thank you yeah wow. okay sister, sister cooper read the last part our last paragraph uh, it's it's 759 so uh, just the the scripture yeah okay it says daniel 2 20 20 through 23 and then 27 through 28 a and said, praise be to the name of God forever and ever. Wisdom and power are his. He changes times and seasons. He deposes kings and raises up others. <laughs> he gives wisdom to the wise and knowledge mm -hmm. to, the, to the discerning. He reveals deep and hidden things. He knows what lies in darkness and light mm -hmm. dwells with him. I thank and praise you, God, of my ancestors. You have given me wisdom and power. You have made known to me what we asked of you. Yes. You have made known to us the dream of the king. Daniel replied, no wise men, enchanters, magicians, or divine, diviners can explain to the king the mystery he has asked about. But there is a God Olis, in heaven who reveals mysteries. He has shown King Nebuchadnezzar what will happen in the days to come. Glory to God. Amen. Well, so, so Cooper, go ahead and finish reading it. Just um, two little parts. Just a little Bible. bit. Okay. It says, what do it's you right. appreciate? It says, what do you appreciate about Daniel's prayer of praise? I said, he gave God all the glory, praise, yes. and acknowledged uh, the acknowledgement. He boasted about God's resume because yes. he went yes. on and on to yes. say who God is and what God has done. Yes. Having yeah. experienced God's divine intervention, Daniel glorified God. The Lord had done what the so-called gods of Babylonian were powerless to do. He revealed Amen. the mystery to Daniel. Daniel's word of praise spotlighted God's um, um, omni attributes. It says God is um, omnipresence. Scripture begins by proclaiming God is creator of heavens and the earth. No place is beyond his reach. Thank you, Lord. This would have been a foreign concept in the ancient Near East. People believed their gods inhabited a certain object, shrine, temple, or city. God is omnipotence. God's omnipotence. Uh, Daniel declared that God changes the times and seasons, yes. and he removes and establishes kings. Yes. The first of these statements emphasizes God's universal power. Only he has the power to change times and seasons. Yes. God's omniscience. Daniel stated that <laughs> wisdom belonged to God. He had mm -hmm. given that wisdom to Daniel by revealing to him the king's dream. God had shown his light into the dark, the deep dark and hidden things that were in Nebuchadnezzar's mind and memory. God revealed that he could do what no wise man, medium, magician or diviner could do or even the Babylonian gods. Daniel's word underscored the unique nature of God 
of the God of heavens who, who is praised forever. The final question says, what are some of the things our group can acknowledge and praise God for today? I put everything. <laughs> um, it says, live it out. Our prayers really do make a difference. Choose one of the following applications. Start a prayer journal. Begin a personal prayer journal in which you record your prayer concerns. Include information about the concern, the date. You added each entry and space uh, for how God answers the yes. prayer. Amen. Enlist Enlist a, uh, a prayer partner. Invite someone to be your prayer partner for a specific concern in your life. Yes. Explain yes. your concern and how you are praying for this issue. Make mm -hmm. sure to give updates about how God is working Amen. in the situation, Amen. even if you are still Amen. waiting for him to act. Last but not least, it says write a response of praise. Think back to a time when God has answered a prayer oh, for you. Yes. Write out the response of praise for how he worked in this situation. Say your words out loud to him as an offering of worship. Then share the praise with others as the Lord gives you opportunity. I wrote, there is no God like you. You're a promise keeper, deliverer, Amen. provider, sustainer, etc." You are the wise God. You are magnificent and holy. You're righteous, etc. I can't thank you enough for delivering, uh, saving, and setting my husband free. Thank Amen. you for restoring our marriage and making Amen. it slash us better than ever. I give Amen. you glory, honor, praise. I appreciate you to the fullest. Amen. Hallelujah. That was Amen. mine. Anybody else? Glory. Hallelujah. Amen. Thank you, Lord done and can continue to do it each and every one of our lives. I thank y'all so much for just the inputs. That really encouraged me because today I was feeling a certain kind of way today, you know, mm -hmm. and my mind wasn't where it's supposed to be. And and I thank you for mm -hmm. this lesson to know that we take everything to God in prayer. Mm -hmm. It doesn't matter what it is or what it face. Or it feel like, you know, Sister Carmen said something earlier, you feel tired, you mm -hmm. know, mm -hmm. like tired of working, but you just feel tired. And I feel like that today. You know, I, I really feel the tired, like, I don't know what it was or if I'm feeling it for somebody or what it was. But I thank God for this lesson. I thank you for the encouraging, mm -hmm. Sister Cooper. I, I thank you because I really needed that because mm -hmm. I was in a place I didn't want to be in. You know, and I really thank God and I praise God for that. Amen. And I just want to thank you for the for the, all the input in it and everything. Um, um, Pastor Cooper, close us out, please. Dear Heavenly Father, we come before you this evening, Lord. Thank you for this opportunity that you've given us to fellowship with one another, Lord God, as brothers and sisters in Christ. Father God, we thank you for the opportunity that we have to come to you in prayer, Father God. Yes. And we pray, oh God, that we would always come to you first, Lord God. Yes. We we can enlist our friends and we will enlist our friends and family for prayer. Yes. But God, we thank you for being able to come to you first, Lord God. We thank you right now, Father, for what was said here tonight. We thank you for everyone who showed up and did not yes, find it robbery Lord, to be here you. tonight, Lord you. God, in this study, Father God. For those who couldn't make it for whatever reason, Father, we pray that you will bless them right now, Lord yes, God. Yes. And anyone who stands in need, Father God, those who are still sick and shut in, and those yes. who are grieving, Father God, we pray for you. Pray for them tonight, Father God. Yes. Lift them up to you, Father God, in the name of Jesus. <laughs> and Lord God, we ask right now that as we get ready to depart from each other, Lord God, that we would always still be in your, in your presence, Father, and that you would give us a sweet sleep tonight, Father God, as we go to as we go to bed, Lord God. And I pray yes. for myself this this evening, mm -hmm. Lord God, as yes, I get Father. ready to go and uh, for this procedure tomorrow, Father yes. God, that you will be with the doctors, Lord God, that you yes. will just yes. guide yes. their hands, Father God, use them, yes. Father God, to do yes. what they need to do, Lord God, and we pray for uh, mm -hmm. uh, good results, Father God, in the name yes. of Jesus, name Father, of Jesus. Father, we thank you, thank we you praise you, and we give you all the thank honor and glory in Jesus' name, amen. Amen, amen, amen. 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 Good night, John Boy. <laughs> good night, Grandpa. <laughs> 
All right, y'all. Good night, everybody. Good night. Good night. All right, peace. Okay.